Welcome back to Popular Pixel, the go-to spot for our pixelated universe. Today, we're diving into the pixelated goodness of Golden Axe for the Sega Genesis, or I should say, the 32X port that's making waves in the retro gaming pixelverse. So hit that subscribe button, and let's get into our game for today. Golden Axe was unleashed in arcades in 1989. This beautiful beat-em-up was crafted by Sega, and on the heels of the release of the Mega Drive, Sega soon realized the need to port this to the new 16-bit home console. But you know how it goes with arcade-to-console ports. Sometimes, a few pixels get lost in translation. Don't get me wrong, the Sega Genesis version of Golden Axe is a work of art. It kept much of the arcade magic intact. However, pixel artist extraordinaire Yadon Visser decided to sprinkle some pixelated magic and created the 32X ROM pack that brings it even closer to the arcade pixel bliss. Visser worked his hackery wizardry and conjured a 32X port of Golden Axe. This hack of the original Genesis game introduces a plethora of enhancements, making it in a must-try for fans of the original game. So, what kind of wizardry does this hack unleash? First off, the stage layouts have been pixel painted to closely match the arcade versions. Picture this, a more authentic experience as you fight your way through Yuria. Adding back in the small details from the arcade, such as eye animations for the turtle and eagle, adding that extra touch of pixelated perfection missing in the Genesis version. Do you remember those pixelated door open-close animations from the arcade release? Guess what? They're back! Sometimes it's the little things in life that you truly come to appreciate. And speaking of those little things, the Attract Mode has been revamped to more closely resemble the arcade game, delivering a delightful hit of nostalgia right from the very start. However, like any hack, there are a few trade-offs, and some elements that gamers have grown to love didn't make the cut. Unfortunately, the final level that was introduced into the Genesis version is no longer part of the experience. This is likely due to a lack of available assets. Additionally, the much-loved Dual Mode, a fan favorite, has been removed. Personally, I believe that retaining this mode could have been quite feasible, considering the assets the creator has at their disposal. It's often just a simple color swap to seamlessly implement it back into the game. Now, you might be wondering, does this hack work on real hardware? Well, the answer to that is a resounding yes. It's compatible with a setup using real 32X hardware and your Mega EverDrive X3. So whether you're playing on real hardware or emulating this, this hack has you covered. On my wish list for potential additions to this hack are a few features that could enhance the experience. The bodies of the defeated warriors remaining on the ground instead of vanishing upon their demise. The return of blood from the bodies of both the warrior at the beginning of the game, and when you deal the final blow to Death Adder. 
The blood also dripping from the text of the character select screen at the beginning of the game would also be nice. These things could add a touch of authenticity from the arcade. Additionally, the inclusion of the beloved dual mode, which should be pretty easy to implement. And lastly, the desire to reintroduce the final level featuring Deathbringer, bringing back that epic climax to the adventure. These additions would truly elevate an already fantastic hack. This 32x hack of Golden Axe, masterfully created by Yodon Visser, it stands as a shining example of how modern hacks can infuse renewed vitality into timeless classics. This creation serves as a heart-filled homage to the retro gaming community, resurrecting the enchanting pixel magic reminiscent of an arcade era. This is a sentiment that takes me back to the golden days of the 32X. For all of you Golden Axe enthusiasts out there, this is unquestionably an experience worth checking out. But you're going to want to keep an eye out for its ongoing development as there's undoubtedly more nostalgia in store. Well, there we have it, Pixel Pals. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you like what you saw, please subscribe for more pixelated content and hit the notification bell so you never miss a popular Pixel update. Until next time, gamers, keep on gaming. Take care.